first thing we shall do is go ahead and open our OBS studio so our OBS studio is open and this is the workspace that we have been working on in case it looks different it's because right down here it is in studio mode so if we click on studio mode we shall go back to our original mode but anyway that does not matter and i'll create more videos showing you how studio mode and you know this other mode works but basically they all work the same way but anyway let me just click on studio mode so that we can have the preview side and the program side so yes let's go ahead and download a plugin that will enable us to live stream on both facebook and youtube so we shall go straight to our browser just click onto your browser and then type in here in your search bar type in obs obs multi stream plugin click on yes click on this first link i will uh, drop this link in the description below scroll here where it says go to download click on that then scroll down most of these are in chinese is it chinese or japanese <laughs> then down here where it says assets i want you to download this second asset right here yeah the one that says obvious malt rtmp then uh, dash 0 0.6.0.0 0 .0 windows 64-bit installer yeah click on to that and wait for it to download yeah it has prompted me to download click on start download and i'm pretty sure it's done downloading yeah it's done downloading so let me go straight to where my downloads are our uh, programs i think it's in here yeah this one the very first one here then click into it since it's already downloaded it is asking me whether i should uninstall it but in your case just click on next 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 and install i'm pretty sure it will install if it doesn't just ask me that question down in the, the comment section and i'll be glad glad to help you out so it is done installing i guess then let us go back to our obs studio if it does not automatically pop up somewhere you know come here to docs there is uh, this tab here called docs and on the very last last option we have the multiple output so click on to multiple output and boom we shall have it right here the corner in your case it could be here yeah, it could pop up anywhere you know but my case i prefer to have my tabs organized in a particular manner so i'll click on it drag it and pull it at the side here so that is how you can download and install a multiple output plugin for obs studio so i'll show you how you can live stream on both facebook and youtube at the same time so let's go ahead and open our youtube here you know and uh, i think i'll open facebook as well yeah let me exit this so i showed you guys how you can live stream on both facebook and youtube so now that is very 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 easy we shall not go into that i'm pretty sure we are not going through that so we are so we are not going through that again we shall just run through quickly come here click on you know live then go live uh, as facebook is loading i can work on youtube as well click on create click on go live then uh, back to facebook come here and do air testing the same applies here air testing you know these are just the rest the rest are not that much important if you want to know more about live streaming on fa on uh, facebook you can go ahead and watch the previous video that i created on how you can live stream on facebook then for youtube once it opens come here tap it uh, type in your your title as well uh, we are doing air testing i created a video as well on how you can live stream on youtube so you can go ahead and watch it it has quite a number of explanations on how you can you know 
go ahead and live stream on, on YouTube. So I'll skip all these and then click, click save. So we have our Facebook right here set to go. Also have our YouTube right here set to go. So in YouTube, all I need is a stream key. Click on this, copy, copy the stream key. Come to my OBS Studio, come to settings down here, then stream, then here, uh, here, here, service, click on YouTube. Click on use stream key and then delete this stream key and sorry about that. Uh, back to stream yeah use stream key delete this stream key and then paste in the stream key that you copied from youtube let me just exit this then come to facebook come to facebook copy this the, the stream key you see how it says stream key copy stream key come here click on uh, Add target okay I can name this target as face book all right come here it says stream key and then paste in that stream key paste it in there then come back click on this drop down under advanced settings then copy this server URL we are copying the server URL and then coming to our OBS and pasting it in here under the URL space under the URL space so click on paste so paste it in their control V then click OK so what did we just do we copied the stream key of YouTube and pasted it under the stream options of OBS then we copy the stream key and the stream URL and pasted it in the plugin settings remember this plugin has just been downloaded right now so this will enable us to live stream the same very content on YouTube and Facebook at the same time I hope this is clear if it's not clear just just play it back play it back you'll be able to understand it so we are done here you could be asking whether youtube is mandatory to be live streamed under the obs original settings of stream no that uh, that's not compulsory to decide to put your facebook stream key in here under stream here where it says use you know custom url you just need to come here and then select facebook and then put the stream key in here eh? and do the same thing for facebook right here so it, it's it's not mandatory that Facebook has to be here, YouTube has to be here. No, no. You could decide to live stream on YouTube using the plugin that we just downloaded. So the plugin works for any any platform. You could use the plugin to live stream on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, uh, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, anywhere, you know, anywhere. So that this link is open. So this plugin is open to be used to live stream on all platforms. All platforms, I hope that is very clear. So once we are done with that, all we have to do is click on start streaming. But in my case, since I'm streaming on Facebook, I need to uh, open my VPN because I'm in a country where uh, you can't access Facebook without VPN. It is open and it is connected so what we are going to do is uh, come back here to our OBS click on start streaming wait for it so that it can start streaming you can sit down here it shows that here it is streaming then come here as well and then click on start as well just give it a few few seconds and yes it is broadcasting it is streaming as well how do i know it is streaming of course it shows you the seconds that it has spent streaming and the bandwidth so let us go back to our browser and you can see down here it has activated the word go live yeah and what we have in obs here is the same thing that we have there then let us check out our youtube 
give it a few seconds oh youtube is already live youtube is already live and facebook all i have to do is click on go live so that it starts streaming so that's how we do it basically that's how we do it and thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate your support the subscribers for always watching and remember to always leave your comments or queries in the comment section i will definitely be glad to respond to you thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video